Hi, John here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2013 Ford F450 bucket truck. I'd like to first show you around the truck a little bit. We'll uh, take a look at how the bucket operates and then we'll go for a road test. For motivation, we have a V10 6.8 liter gasoline engine. Uh, we have air conditioning, automatic transmission. You do not have to run that engine under the hood to operate this bucket truck. If you're uh, in a neighborhood that's not the best, you can go ahead, pull the key out, lock the truck up, and go up in the bucket and feel safe that nobody is going to take off in this vehicle while you're up there with the truck running. We will show you that on the road test. Here's the generator that provides all the hydraulic pressure to operate the pump. We also have 110, 220 volt outlets mounted around the uh, truck, and I'll show you where those are as we're looking at it. This generator sits on a slide. This pulls out. Easy service. We have stainless steel latches again on this truck. It is a metal body. This truck is from Georgia. I'll have Clint get some pictures underneath the frame, the body. All these panels look just gorgeous. No rust on them. If you look down here, all the pinch uh, weld seams, everything is real nice and clean on it. Spent his life in Georgia at a major utility where it got great maintenance. We have a pinto hook. We have the backup camera. We have trailer connectors for various types of trailers. We have a few tie downs in the bed here if you'd like to put something back there and haul it securely. This truck does have um, a, an aluminum ladder rack here. Up on top, you would put your two piece uh, ladders up there. Below here, you can put an A-frame type ladder, shovels, digging bars, whatever you'd like to put there. We also have two additional aluminum uh, storage cabinets on the top there. We have air pressure right here, quick disconnect. We have 110 volt outlets right there. We also have air. I should have mentioned this as I was walking by, but we have air pressure right here. And we have another outlet right there. This truck does have a bucket heater in it. And if you wanted to operate air, uh, well, air tools or electric tools, you can do that. Here's how we're going to operate the, uh, the bucket with the lower controls, and we'll get to that in a minute. All of these uh, cabinets are lockable. You can lock them with a key individually. If you prefer to lock them all together, you just push this in, and it this right here would engage in there and lock all these doors together. Some nice heavy duty slide out drawers there. We have a nitrogen bottle holder here. That's how we get our air pressure. And we have some nice heavy duty shelves here that will hold quite a few things for you. There's two of them. Stainless steel hardware again. And we have another one here. These cabinets are ventilated. So if you want to put aerosol cans in there or a little set of torches for cutting, uh, you're legal. Uh, a couple of tubes here, digging bars, tree cutting equipment, whatever you'd like to put in there. Let's take a look at how the bucket operates. We're going to flip on that master right there. So we have our master switch turned on on the dashboard. Now what we do is we come over here. We have two speeds of uh, mode here. We have slow and normal. I'm going to leave it in normal. Uh, we start and stop our generator right here. If we were going into the upper, what we would do is put that into upper control. But we're at the lower control. So first thing we're going to do is raise it a little bit. Get it out of the way.
This has a 34, I'm sorry, 35 foot working height. That bucket does level automatically. It'll go 360 degrees, but it does it halfway each time. I shook it kind of hard there. As the bucket goes up and down, you'll notice that the bucket does stay level. I want to show you a couple of things on the inside here. Number one, it's a little bit uh, warm out there, so I am going to turn on the air conditioning. It blows nice and cold. Um, we have a spotlight up on the top. They call them a go light. Uh, so I'm going to turn those two on. One of them turns this uh, controller on for that go light. And the other one is this remote that you can put in your pocket. It has on, off, uh, slow, fast, and then you can... Uh, move it all around so if you're uh, working in the evening and you'd like to light up the area that you're up there just bring this in the bucket with you and you can light it all up or you can move it around right here we have a compartment light switch all the compartments have LED lights that surround the uh, perimeter of them we have our strobe lights if we uh, are working uh, you know on a street and we want to let people know we're there uh, if you want to pull a trailer we have a trailer brake controller our master to turn on the uh, boom. We have a passenger airbag we can turn off. We have traction control we can turn off. Uh, those, you never have enough charging uh, ports. I don't think anybody smokes anymore, but whatever. Um, cruise, um, all the uh, functions for the dashboard we have here. We also have, if you flip this lever down on the left, I know you can't see it, but we have tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel. I think I'll lock that in right there. Delay wipers. And we have tow haul mode at the end of the uh, gear shift selector. We do have a backup camera. When we do put it in reverse, it'll light up inside that mirror there. 